How's it going, guys? Welcome to Trade Confident. My name is Travis Martin. Guys, we are live trading on every single one of these videos, so make sure you guys do subscribe. You turn the bell notification on because we're doing it over here. Um, if you guys are not joined to our uh, channel yet, I, I would highly suggest you guys do. We actually just won 43 for 43 trades. We ended up taking our 41st trade win on BTC here. You guys can see Matic was our 42nd for 42nd trade. And then we ended up taking a win. Um, this was yesterday on ADA, and that was our 43rd for 43rd win. This is all based off the Telegram channel that I'm running over here and you guys are doing really good we haven't lost a single trade on this channel yet so I'll show you guys how to get set up in this video I'll do all that but I want to talk to about you guys about you know is Bitcoin more likely going to head to about eh, 46,000 or about 39,000 that's what I want to kind of assess in today's video so I uh, wanted to go over that quickly guys the last buy limit that I called out on this video for Bitcoin was at 42,626 that was the entry down here I then ended up calling an exit in the telegram channel for you guys to exit at 44,643 for 50% and then move your stop loss to break even and that's how we won that trade so I'm going to take this off the charts you guys because we do not need this trade anymore because we are officially out of this now, all you guys need to do from here is we need to set up our next long trade for Bitcoin. So what you guys are gonna do is you guys are gonna come over here. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me, guys. You guys wanna look at some profits real quick from this last week? This is actually really cool. Uh, I'll do this real quick and I, I promise I'll set this up. Uh, I didn't mean to be on this page, but we had a guy do uh, $1,100 on Solana last week. Uh, this is just this week here. $5,000 on ADA, did an incredible job over here. My portfolio is all green despite the dip. The metrics rock. I will be going with the metrics for Bitcoin today. This was kind of cool. Um, I listened to your advice, bought the bundle package of indicators. In 24 hours, I made $1,280 in Ethereum, $1,100 here, and just keeps going on and on here. This guy made $7,700 this last week, $1,200, $1,800, $500 in 12 hours, so on and so forth, and just goes down and goes down and goes down. Okay. What I want you guys to do today for Bitcoin is we need to be getting our trade set up. And we did end up closing out of a lot of trades this week. So you guys, the best thing to do today is come over to tradeconfident.io. This does require membership, guys. It's only $49 a month. Come over here to live trades and set up your, your trades in here, okay? For Bitcoin, here's where I'm looking at. I do show you guys Bitcoin, but all the other ones are closed off. Definitely be getting your trade set up for Cardano, ADA, Dogecoin, and I would say DOT is actually another one I'm watching very strongly right now, okay? So here's how this works, guys. The first buy limit is just simply down here. So what you guys do is take a look at all of our charts. You guys are then going to come in and you're going to see four yellow lines below the current price at the moment. This is a update that happens every morning at 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. If you guys don't see the lines update, it's simply because we haven't hit our first buy entry yet, okay? Now, I want you guys to watch this here. This is all you do on all of our coins. Right now, I want you guys to go, go set this up. For Bitcoin, our first entry is at $40,005, and you guys work your way down. If you have $1,000, you place 25% at each level. So 250, 250, 250, 250. Once your first buy limit is hit, you guys literally just follow me in the Telegram channel or set your buy limit up here, and I'll be calling trade exits for you guys. Literally, all you have to do is come over here, set your buy limits for any of the coins that you want, and follow me in the Telegram channel and make sure you guys get the indicators on your chart and that's all you do, and we just have like a ton of fun. Okay, let's go over this. The trend exhaustion is going up in price. You guys only have six days left. Now you guys, are, if you're brand new to this, you're like, what the heck is this? Is it even worth it? I'm telling you guys, it is the most accurate indicator at calling the tops and bottom of Bitcoin ever. I showed you guys on the daily time frame. it called the last 14 moves in Bitcoin perfectly like with dead accuracy. So watch this today, because this is going to go into today's assessment of where I think this is going to go. We are going to very quickly, guys, we are going to be going over the metrics for Bitcoin today, which is the emotional index, the long versus short trades, long versus short trade risk, uh, well and institutional smart money, support resistance prices, dollar cost average entries and exit points, and a little bit looking into the death cross. So you will get everything you need for the weekend and one single video. Okay, let's take a look at this. If you guys are looking at the trend exhaustion over here, when this pushes into the top red zone, and you also see the well money flow, which is the green line here. This is the well money flow, and this is the price in pink. When you guys see both of these pushed up to top positions here, you guys should not be going long, ever. This is a place where you want to be looking to sell your long trades or looking to go short in the market. On this channel, guys, we're only going long. Okay, those are the, ch the, the calls that I'm going to be making. You guys saw in the beginning of the video, I ended up calling an exit here before we ended up dropping. I did that based off these indicators right here. Okay, well, look what happened last time we ended up getting into this part. This metric did call the drop, and I was showing this to you guys. We saw both the well money flow hitting the top section up here as well as the trend exhaustion. That was right up here during this consolidation phase. It tried to pump back up, and then it heads straight back down into the drop that we saw. If you guys ever, if you ever see the trend exhaustion at the top and the price 
moves down and starts to push back up. This is called divergence. This was clearly calling this drop because what do you guys see in here? Price action tried to move upward while the whale money flow was clearly moving out of the market, okay? This is how we are literally predicting these moves in the market and why we are 43 for 43 winning trades. 43, guys. Get this indicator in the description. You guys will not regret it. I'll show this to you real quick so you, if you want to just get this and, and go to the next video, you can. The indicators are over here in the description as well as, well, basically when you click, it's going to take you guys over here. This is separate from the $49 a month membership where you guys get trade signals, okay? The bundle pack is absolutely the best thing to get right now because this will not be going up in price, but I am upping the price of the trend exhaustion, the indicator that's calling literally all the moves so good, it's going up in six days. Next month, I'm most likely gonna be raising the price for still while money flow, and then I'm gonna be raising these other indicators. So as I raise the price of all these individual indicators, anybody who has the bundle pack will all be increasing their value if they just have the bundle bundle pack, okay? They're increasing value. Let's go back over here. Let me prove this to you guys a little bit more. Were we able to call the drop? Yes, we were absolutely able to call the drop, and I we did call a drop on this channel. We saw that the trend exhaustion pushed up in the top red zone here, and we saw this right about at this area. We tried to get a little bit of a bull fake out, but it could not do anything else but head back down in the market. We saw this over here. We pushed into the top red zone, and this is where we ended up seeing the move back down. Take a look at this. We pushed into the top red zone here with the whale money flow in the top section. This correlates exactly to this move over here, and then that's when we saw the move back down. Not only that, when it does push to the bottom red section here, for both of them, we are seeing this is exactly where the price is moving back up. We saw it over here as well. When this touched to the bottom, we saw this move right here, and I can prove to you guys that we were able to call this move up, because I've, I've done it before on the, the channel already, but watch this. More proof. As you see price action creating lower lows in the market, and you guys see the indicators coming out here, and they're creating higher lows, okay, moving upward, Moving upward here, this was a positive sign that the market could not go down any further and it was going to reverse. Remember guys, price versus well money flow. The well money flow, the flow of large transactions on the exchange was heading in a positive direction. They were accumulating while price was trying to go down. The price can't keep going down when money is flowing into the market. That is why we're using these indicators and we are doing so ridiculously well. It is that partnered with the dollar cost average entries that we use that I showed you guys in the beginning of the video of why we are doing so well. Okay guys, get these on your, your trading view charts follow me, get them on today, guys. They are literally going up in six days. The next day I get on the videos is going to be on uh, Monday because I don't do videos on the weekend, but you guys will have three days from then. So I'm just giving you full disclosure that they are going up. Based off right now, now that you guys know the history of this, what can we tell? Well, at the moment, honestly, it's a little bit hard to tell what's going to happen because we are in the middle zone here. If I had to take a guess here, guys, the money flow being this high, this does have more room to head down to the bottom. And if you look and you split this in the middle, it is on the top section here. So I wouldn't doubt if over the weekend we see a little bit of selling pressure in the market and we could be pushing down to the lower section here. I want to go over the metrics here to show you guys now what I'm looking at as far as on-chain metrics and give us a little bit of a prediction of where Bitcoin could be going over the weekend, okay? So definitely make sure you guys get those. Those are in the description. I don't want you guys to miss out on that because um, those prices will be going up, okay? Look at the dollar, excuse me, the, well, we're going to go over dollar cost average entries, but I want you guys to look at the emotional index starting here for Bitcoin. These are going to be updated every day at 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, okay? The emotional index is pushing us down into the anxious section down here. We can clearly see this is in this bottom bar. Now, if you guys are following this channel, what happens when this metric shows anxiety in the market. Obviously, it's very clear that anxiety is in the market because we saw a bunch of people selling yesterday and people got scared, all right? Well, what happens over here is usually wells, institutions, and smart money actually come in here and they start acquiring long trades. Guys, they are not selling in the market. I've been telling you guys this on all the videos today that if you guys are looking at what wells and institutions are doing, they are actually placing long trades in the market. Guys, we placed a long trade. We took our profits. We have more long trades ready and set up like I just showed you guys on all of our coins. Like all the ones we just won the other day over here on Matic, on, on ADA, on, on um, XRP we even won, on uh, BTC. All these coins, guys, we have new buy limits set up so you can get into them so you can follow me on these other trades that we're going to be taking, okay? Let's move down here a little bit. I want you guys to 
clearly see what I'm talking about on this because this is so important. I've called this out before and we were able to call the drop in Bitcoin. I, I, I got a, <laughs> people didn't like I was trying to call the drop, but we did anyways. And here's why it was uh, basically unrelenting of that. When you guys see price action moving in an upward fashion here, and you guys see long trades moving out of the market, this historically is going to push the market back down. Okay, let me prove it to you again if that, that doesn't make sense. Watch this. If you guys are seeing price action move up in the market over here, just like it was there, and long trades move out of the market, you actually cannot sustain the price of it. The price cannot sustain itself to keep going up because there isn't any volume to keep pushing it up. So when long trades move out of the market, this is actually where you guys are going to see selling take place. Okay. And it doesn't help at all when selling pressure gets into the market as well to cu coupled with that. But now that you've, I've proven this drop to you, proved that drop to you as well. We need to look at what's currently happening. The opposite is actually happening guys. Price action is moving in a downward fashion right here, as you guys can clearly see, but long trades are actually increasing. This is on chain metrics, guys. These are live transactions going through the blockchain. Okay. We are seeing an increase in long trades. This, in my opinion, guys, yes, it could go lower, but guys, I have been so bullish for you guys lately. I'm like, you need to be getting your buy limit set up. Guys, like literally, I, I'm gonna say this one more time. Hopefully I like drive this home. You guys need the membership over here. 49 bucks is super cheap. I'm just telling you guys, like look at the profits and I'll prove it to you, okay? Come over here, click on any of these. You have to actually click into it. Set your four buy limits up. Make sure you guys are following me over here. Get the trend exhaustion, the price first to well money flow in the trend dashboard. Like. The bundle package is the best deal possible because these are going to be going up. But at minimum, guys, get the price versus the well money flow and the trend exhaustion and follow me over here on these videos so you guys can see this. All right. I want you guys to understand how to use these because we're going to be using these to scale out of positions and actually exit before crazy things like this happen in the market. So you're not in a huge loss. Okay. I'm also using this to help predict moves before we before they happen. Oh, like I showed you guys back here, the move back up with the divergence. Okay. So that's why those are so important to get. I, I if at the end of the video you get nothing else, it's set up your buy limits over here, get those indicators and follow me on Telegram, okay? By the way, once you guys sign up, click the Telegram down here, it gives you a link directly to that and you get in there for free, okay? Anyone with the, the $49 a month subscription, okay? Let's let's get into this. I want to continue here. Long versus short trades. We can clearly see that this metric is showing us we are pushing into the good long trade and great, long, excuse me, good long trade and great long trade section. All right. There are people calling out right now that Bitcoin is just going to keep dropping and dropping and dropping. Yes, th that is possible. And like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, we could head down here to about 39,000. But the metrics are more bullish than they are bearish, guys. I I'm going to be honest about that. I'm showing you guys on-chain metrics here that a bullish pattern is forming on on-chain metrics, guys. If you look at this, this metric has not... <laughs> It hasn't been wrong too many times. When you push up into the top section up here where you see great short trade, the market's moving down. Great short trade, the market's moving down. It even got down here at the very bottom. It's like, hey, um, maybe we should actually get into long trades before the market heads back up. It has been very accurate. More metrics right now, guys, are pointing to Bitcoin having a reversal move back up than it is back down. Here's more proof for you guys right here. Right there, long trades increasing on well and institutional smart money. I'm not saying, don't take away from this video that this can't go down a little bit further. I'm saying that overall, there is more bullish sentiment trying to push this thing back up than this crashing down to, you know, $30,000, $25,000, you know, on some of these crazy predictions that I've seen. I'm just pointing that out to you guys, okay? As far as support and resistance prices, where is this thing going to go? Well, first of all, if for a move down, we're looking at 39,863. That's basically at wick value low, and that puts us right around this area. So yes, that target can be hit here. But if this gets hit, most likely what's going to happen is the trend exhaustion is going to be pushed down here as well as the well money flow and that will springboard us back up from the bottom. It has happened here. It happened over here as well when we saw this bounce back. Yes, we actually did get into the bottom prices of this on calls like ADA. We got literally at rock bottom prices and we took profit up here and we did great. We are This is calling the bottom so much here, guys. Like right here, we ended up seeing that call back up. Even gone to the bottom red section here, it even called this move back up here. We even see it calling these moves back up over here on the chart when you guys look at these, okay? I can show you guys more in the past if you'd like. Go to the one day time frame, and it's insane how accurate this is this um, indicator is, okay? So pulling that into this, yes, we could head down to 39,000. Now, if the bulls start taking over, where's, where are we gonna do like a pit stop? 
I think right around this level of about 48, 49,000 is where we're going to stall out. 48 and 49,000 puts us up here at this structure high. Now, obviously, we're going to have to pass this first, and we're going to have to contend with this descending resistance. So this should put us right around this level here of about 46,000 is where I'm looking at, okay? 46,000, a touch here. I'm most likely looking for another move back down. This would be a three touch on a descending channel that is a very strong touch, and it usually pushes the price back down, okay? We have only have two touches down here. If this comes down, I am looking for a bounce back up here as well. If this does happen, almost every single one of our trades are going to get triggered into long trades, and you guys will be back into the profit on those trades. So you, again, like I said, set those long trades up. Dollar cost average entries, guys, this metric basically shows you if you have like $10,000 on the side and you want to throw in $1,000 every time you have a green line, great, you guys can totally do that. And then again, Hold for five to 10 years. That's literally what this is for. This is not for day trading at all. You guys need to use dollar cost average entries for day trading. But if you guys are holding for five to 10 years, that's what you guys wanna be using. Yes, we did end up calling the top of Bitcoin up here before we saw the move back down. This is another indicator that I was using to look to see where the tops were. If you ever get blocks of red in here, this is where we are gonna be looking to exit 25 to 50% of our trade before we see prices move back down. It's held true so many times in the market where it has called moves back down that you wanna be watching this for how deadly accurate it is. Okay, as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, looking at this death cross, and basically it's called a golden cross, we are seeing that we are in a golden cross territory right here where we have the 50 above the 200 day moving average, all right? So this is bullish, but even in the bearish cycle where the 50 went up below the um, 200, this actually was a place where we saw more moves up than we saw moves down. So could we see the opposite? Could this actually start moving down even though it's in a golden cross? That is possible. Best thing to do is to make sure you guys are over here and you're setting up your buy limits all the way down for Bitcoin, for Ethereum, Dogecoin, Cardano, Ripple, Solana, VeChain, all of these, and then follow me on the Bitcoin channel. Uh, I saw, I'm so sorry guys, that was an error. Did not mean to say Bitcoin. The crypto channel, because I'm literally covering every single one of these coins on that Telegram channel. So if I see an exit over there, I will be calling it out for you guys, like I'm a personal coach. Again, you wanna make sure you have the trend exhaustion, the price versus the well money flow, so you guys can be seeing these setups. Because on the Telegram, I will be calling this sometime and I'll say, hey guys, the next time the trend exhaustion is in the top section up here and we do get up here, I want you guys to take a 25% profit. You need to have it on your charts so you are able to exit with me, okay? I'm on the weekends, guys, I take the weekends off, okay? I, I make that clear, all right? So this is why you guys need this on your charts. Six days is all you guys have left before the trend exhaustion price goes up. Make sure you guys do have your uh, membership over here at tradeconfident.io. Sorry, I was just thinking about something I wanna tell you guys before I'm done. Uh, make sure you guys do have this membership, it's $49 a month, and have fun today on Friday. I, on Fridays, I update all this and give you guys a bunch of different testimonials. Have fun, guys. You know, Get some coffee or something and just look through all this. It's super fun to look at what people are doing. Um, they're doing a fantastic job. Though I wanna end this video with this. Once you guys set your buy limits up, I think it's gonna be very crucial that you make sure you set your sell limits up immediately. If we get a drop back down on the market, I'm gonna end this video right here. If we get a drop back down on the market, almost every single one of our first buy limits are going to be hit. You then need to come over and you to set up your sell limit. Your sell limit is simply gonna be the first yellow line above the current price. I do think that Bitcoin could see one more drop down here very strongly and then we could see some springboard action back up here to kind of give us an end of the year rally. Yes, I know people are calling 85,000, 100,000 and 150,000 before the end of the year. I think some of those predictions are absurd and I don't think it's going to happen, but if we do see an end of the year rally, guys, we have three months left, October, November, and December. You want to be setting your buy limits up and getting into trades now. This is not the time to be selling. In my opinion, it's not the time to be shorting. You need to get over here, get your trade set up, and start trading with us. Guys, I think you guys are gonna do amazing. The, the track record is proven it, guys. 43 for 43 winning trades. All right, guys, that's my full analysis for you guys for Bitcoin for the weekend. God bless you guys so much. The indicators are in the description. You get immediate access to the source code. You also get the indicator tutorial um, videos on the links that I showed you guys over here, as well as you also get the tutorial video once you check out of how to actually take the source code and paste it over into the Pine Editor for TradingView. Super, super, excuse me, super, super simple, guys. If you have any questions, email me 
at b b e trade confident at gmail.com. I love helping you guys over email so much. It's like literally my favorite thing to do besides videos is just work with you guys one on one and help you learn the trade setups, learn what the indicators are doing. I love it. So besides that in the Telegram group, guys, I'm having a blast. So great job for everyone who made profits this week. Again, God bless you guys so much. Have fun this Sunday. Uh, spend time with your family. Go to church and just enjoy and have fun. And we will get back on the charts here Monday morning. All right, guys, everything you need in the description. Get set up. That's your homework. Set up all your charts over the weekend so you guys are ready to trade Monday morning. All right, we'll see you guys. Bye-bye.